Glenalki 15 is dark as night and promises to be a sherry bomb, but looks can be deceiving. Does it deliver on that promise? And is it any better than Glenalki 12? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey on the West Coast. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Glenallachie 15 year old Space Eyed Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Now we've talked about Glenallachie quite a bit in the past on this channel, and there's there's a few videos like the Glenallachie 12, Glenallachie 10 cast strength. You can, after this video, go back and watch those videos if you haven't already. Uh, in particular, the 12 year old, because I dive into more of the history of the distillery in that video. What I'm going to tell you today is that Glenalkey means Valley of the Rocks. The distillery itself was founded in 1967 and uh, it was purchased by a new group, a new owner in 2018, um, the Billy Walker, really a, a master of Scotch whiskey, formerly of Glendronic and other distilleries. And when Billy Walker took over the Glenalkey distillery, he introduced a new range of whiskeys, a 12 year old, an 18 year old, a 25 year old in 2018. And then 2019, he released the 15-year-old single malt scotch whiskey from Glenalkey. Now that whiskey was a lot lighter in color than this particular Glenalkey 15. This is a later batch. This is a batch from uh, 110920, uh, so late 2020 batch. Uh, and it's much darker because it's had a lot more time uh, to sit in the wood after being recasked. And what I mean by that is the, the wood that this was originally filled in likely uh, refill ex bourbon casks. Billy Walker is really a strict adherent to high quality cask management. The cask uh, management regime uh, Billy Walker usually uses is unbelievably um, hot, like top notch. So he wants the best quality casks, largely first fill casks. And the more time you give this whiskey to sit in those casks, the more the impact the oak is going to impact it, which is how, ha which happened here. Now the, the cast makeup of this particular whiskey is entirely Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez, Sherry cask, um, hogsheads and punchians. Um, now this whole mentality about using some really, uh, wet, say first fill Sherry casks. Uh, it really is like the, the idea that the wood makes the whiskey. Some in the Scotch whiskey industry seem to think about 90% of the flavor of whiskey comes from the oak, comes from the wood that it rests in. And it spends the most time in, in oak casks out of any of uh, the time uh, that it's being obviously made. Uh, however, I think there's so many other factors that go into what makes a whiskey taste the way it does, whether it's the shape of the stills, how fast it comes off the stills, um, fermentation times, what type of uh, washback material, whether it's stainless steel or wood. There's a lot of different things to consider. However, when you're soaking your whiskey and sherry this much, um, it's hard to argue with the wood makes the whiskey. I think the wood definitely makes this whiskey um, and it profiles like a, a, a sherry bomb, a, a classic sherry bomb. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into this whiskey. A few specs, it's 46% alcohol. That's what it's bottled at. It's non-chill filtered. It's natural color. So that's why I'm talking so much about the color because we know that this hasn't been tampered with. The color tells us about how this whiskey was made. All right, let's get to the review. Glenalki 15 year old on the nose. Okay, this is a simmering vat of like, dude fruits of like raisins and figs being boiled down on a burner in a saucepan, just like mixed up with brown sugar. Yeah, that is, that is thick, juicy, syrupy, dark fruits. Um, wow. That is, that is sticky. Yeah. Really intense dark fruit flavors uh, or aromas, sorry. Like a maple syrup vibe. Some pecan, almond, a touch of varnish. 
Interestingly, um, pomegranate too. Uh, another fruit popping off there. Just a little bit of like a tartness off that. Ton of fruit, some milk chocolate, and like a bright tart orange. Not a sweet orange, uh, a tart, almost sour orange. Okay, let's try the palette. Okay, oak, straight off the hop. Oak, lots of oak. Bit of heat, not too bad, but there's some heat. Baking spices, raisin, dried fruits. The finish right now, more oak. Oak and grain and varnish, like wood polish. And chocolate, sweet chocolate at the, the finish right now too. Sorry, I've skipped ahead to the finish a bit just because I'm processing that right now. Hmm. Okay, another sip. Hmm. Bit of almond paste. Chocolate, again, for sure. Um, again, dark chocolate, bitter chocolate. Um, that oak with the chocolate note, I'm sure they're they're tangling up in one there. This is also reminding me of something from my childhood too. Um, in Canada, uh, there's a, I, I guess it's a Quebecois sort of delicacy, um, maple taffy where you, you pour maple syrup uh, on ice and it hardens, or snow, and it hardens on that and you eat it on a stick. Um, I'm not gonna attempt the the French pronunciation uh, of this uh, of this dish of this dessert, but that's what it's reminding me of like cool down, um, chewy gooey like maple syrup on a stick. Yeah, maple taffy. That finish again. So oaky. Um, it's like an over oaked bourbon almost, um, with a level of oak I'm getting off this. Honestly, it, it's a it's a bit much that oak. I like oak, but I need another sip, and, and then we'll we'll get to a get to a verdict on this whiskey. Yeah, oak, wood varnish, all those fruits are still in there. The chocolate, it's enjoyable. It's a really good whiskey. However, um, it's just a bit of balance. And with a price point of about $120, $130 Canadian, oh man, it's tough when you put this up against the Glenalkey 12. The Glenalkey 12 just seems to be in such a perfect like balance point. It's a great price. It delivers all those fruits, that orange, that chocolate, a lot of the things that this is bringing, but with a little bit less oak. Um, so it doesn't have quite the same um, dryness, bitterness, and uh, as much of the tannic notes as this does. For that reason, I think the Glen Hockey 12 might actually be a better whiskey, counterintuitively. You think more age, more time in the cask, more time with these casks, the Billy Walker casks. I don't think that's proving out here. Uh, I gave the Glen Alkey 12 an 88 out of 100. Um, the Glen Alkey 15 Space Side Single Malt Scotch Whiskey this batch anyway, I'm giving it an 86 out of 100. Still a great score, but when you're paying that much more for this whiskey, on top of the fact that you can get such a balanced delivery from the Glen Alkey 12, it's got some stiff competition from its little brother. Now, to put this to the test and put some other whiskeys to an equally stern test, I'm arranging what I'm gonna call the Battle of the Space Side. Um, and that is gonna be the Glen Alkey 12 and the Glen Alkey 15 in a blind showdown with the Tamdu 12 and the Tamdu 15 year old. I wanna put those four whiskeys blind in front of me and find out where they place and which ones come out on top. Maybe this 15 year old actually will shock me blind and come out on top ahead of that Glen Alkey 12 and ahead of that Tamdu 15 and 12. Who knows? Something I'm working on for the future for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. 
uh, like this video and comment down below, have you had the Glen Alki 15? What do you think of what Billy Walker is doing with this distillery? Is it as good as Glendronic, his previous masterpiece? And how do you think the Glen Alki 15 stacks up to the 12 if you had both? Once again, thank you for joining me on Whiskey on the West Coast. I hope I see you here in the future. Until then, sláinte.